Remember this offseason? A lot of people may recall that interview Aaron Hicks had on Ryan Rucco's podcast with CeCe Sabathia. Aaron Hicks stated that the Yankees needed some dog in them. You see, I'm going to throw this back. Do you remember, if you're a hip-hop fan, East Coast versus West Coast? Snoop Dogg was in a video, and he was edited in like he was in New York City. Then he would kick down all the skyscrapers or whatever. There was a saying at the time, rappers would say, New York City hasn't been the same since uh, Snoop Dogg knocked down all the towers or something like that. Let's use that same example. The Yankees haven't been the same since Tim Anderson came to town. You remember that little situation he had with Josh Donaldson where uh, Tim Anderson cried wolf, in, in my opinion. It was a whole media spectacle. Everybody talked about it. All these media outlets. Josh Donaldson is an evil man, right? Well, after that, the Yankees seem to have been neutered. Before that, they were on 14-game winning streaks or something like that. Win streaks here and there. Now they could barely win series. So that's the pinnacle point where I'm pointing out where the Yankees don't have dog in them no more. As Aaron Hicks said, he also said he was going to be a well 40 40 guy, something like that. <laughs> that's, that's laughable. Here, here's my tweet after the Astros bitch slapped supposedly the team with dog in them. I said, the Yankees got their balls taken away ever since Tim Anderson came to the Bronx and cried wolf. Seems like since then, this team lost its identity. This team got neutered. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, the handle is underscore and will wine news. Was it wrong to tweet that out? I think most people will agree with me. This team continues to get bitch slapped by supposedly a team that beat them because they were cheating. How the hell are the Astros even better than when they cheated? Houston, we have a problem. Isn't a NASA stationed around there? I don't know. Do they have some sort of scientific technology that they're hiding from everybody else do they have uh, contact lenses that they see baseballs as beach balls it's a joke by the way what's going on you continue to get owned by the Astros and you're supposed to have dog in you to start the game of the doubleheader two bunts <laughs> that's like a respect the dogs don't have dog in them. How do the Yankees respond? Oh yeah, losing, getting swept by the Astros. Getting spanked. Your team was assembled to handle teams like the Astros. You go went out there and got Josh Donaldson to hype up the clubhouse. But, but no, ever since Tim Anderson, uh, Josh Donaldson needs to behave himself, right? And I'm not saying that the Yankees are not performing because they put a muzzle on Josh Johnson, but it certainly appears like that. And again, the Yankees are going nowhere in the playoffs with that starting rotation. Bullpen is kind of suspect at times as well. You got to be high if you think the Yankees have a chance to win the World Series with that rotation. Cashman does not need to prospect hug if Luis Castillo is out there. People may argue, uh, get Juan Soto as well. But judging by how the Yankees operate, I don't think that's a possibility, but it can be. I know uh, Luis Castillo could easily be. That has been the Yankees' Achilles heel. All these teams in contention always go out and trade for an ace caliber pitcher. When Justin Verlander was available back in 2017, oops, the Yankees went out there and got 
five ten Sonny Gray. Oh, the next ace of the New York Yankees. They didn't learn from Javier Vasquez. It's common sense. Always get a flamethrower. Always get a flamethrower with ace caliber stuff. That's over 6'2", by the way. 6 feet, 6'2". Don't give me no short guy. That's why I keep saying, oh, I love Nestor Cortez, but come season's end, come playoff time, do you really believe he's going to be Nestor Cortez come playoff time? Hell, if he is, give that guy a race. The way this team is assembled as of now, they cannot compete versus teams over 500. The Yankees' record does not reflect, let's say, oh yeah, that's the best team in baseball. It does not reflect their record because we've all seen it. They've been bitch slapped time and time again by great baseball teams. And the team that continues to bitch slap you is the team that time and time again eliminates you from the playoffs. And it's going to be one of the teams that Luis Castillo possibly is traded to. So what's the story here? Long story put short, the Yankees need dog in them. If you're, let's say, Josh Donaldson, you have to allow him to be Josh Donaldson. The reason why you traded for him to be a leader in that clubhouse, to talk all the smack in the world. Be the bullies you guys were to begin the season. Stop being bullied. This is embarrassing how the Yankees continue to get owned by the Houston Astros. I don't want to see it. I want the Yankees to go out there and abuse teams over 500. This deadline, the Yankees need to go out there and make the obvious moves that they need to make or else they're not reaching the World Series. They're going to knock down the first round of the playoffs. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think? Like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.